in healthcare sector according to you? IT services are, are slowly and slowly they are coming up, but I will not say that it is really been taken up. One is IT services to, should be used because they make it, uh, we can provide the service quickly and they are more controlled. But at present it comes at a cost. When we talk about affordable, accessible quality, quality health care, the cost becomes an important factor. If we see an entire system of any hospital, that comes at a very high cost. And secondly, in IT system, there has to be some bit of a standardization. If you see, because a lot of data can be generated. And a lot of data can be generated, but we should know that X, Y, or any company which is making this entire system, they are at least on an equal platform when it involves generating of data. IT is the most useful tool to generate data which India is lacking. It can be helpful, but then it has to be standardized. So the way you would see India in terms of IT in healthcare after five years in 2020? I think, uh, I think it will be quite be progressive in that because IT has as such information technology has taken a firm route in India and it is only the application into health that is required and as I said if it becomes affordable uh, for a health sector then obviously everybody would like to take this health because things become very easy I can uh, even person who is practicing at a remotest of area and uh, if that is there then uh, he can go to uh, can gain the knowledge at any place so and he has a big role to play do you think the India has reached to the maximum time now they have to adopt IT services if they want to grow the healthcare sector? Yes, obviously. IT has to be adopted so that uh, it becomes reachable uh, to each and every part of the country. IT has to, uh, is important for the knowledge of a doctor as well as for delivering to the patient also and for generating data as we said. It has a big role to play in all the aspects of healthcare. So what is your role in your company? Uh, my role is I am an infectious control uh, specialist. So my role is specifically to control infection, uh, to infection control. Secondly, as a member of Delhi Medical Council and previously as uh, Secretary General of uh, Indian Medical Association, uh, I try to sensitize our doctors on the role of IT, on the role of preventive and social health care, and also amongst the general population also that uh, preventive healthcare is very important and they should also uh, utilize the IT services for knowing about their disease and knowing about their preventive health. So, so how do you plan to keep your staff updated about the IT services? Do you organize a training program or something? That's the only way of uh, updating our people is through uh, organizing workshop and giving training to them and, and providing the tools. Suppose you, you just provide training and you do not have the tools, then all the knowledge goes waste. So all the three things are important. So workshop along with the providing them the facility also to use the knowledge which they gain from these workshops. So how many workshops are organized in a month or in a year? Uh, this, is a, this is a regular phenomenon because uh, not only IT for health sector is important but there are many aspects of health subjects which are important. So uh, as a routine we normally organize a different kind of workshop every month. So what, what would you say about the union budget 2015 in terms of IT and healthcare? I, I, I will talk about, I am not IT but I will talk about it as, as, as per se about health budget. I was disappointed with the health budget because uh, we were expecting that it will be increased to at least 2.5 percent which in 2005 National Health Plan has envisaged that it will be 2.5 percent but unfortunately this has been reduced. It is 0.9 percent that it was in the previous budget which was around 39,000 crores and which has been decreased by 5,000 crores or rupees uh, and it is now 33,000 crores. So I do not know from where uh, the there are different things which we have thought about it like uh, providing a health care as a fundamental right to every person. When we cannot provide at 0.9% or 39,000 crore rupees, how by reducing our budget we will be able to 
give them that uh, facility, then the population has also increased and the inflation has also increased. So I think there is a dichotomy between what we say and what we are planning uh, for that. So can technology help in reducing the cost of health care? Obviously, uh, our technology is, is for reducing, though no doubt initially the cost looks high, but when you see the long term gain, there are very much long term gains are there, like suppose we talk about strengthening rural health where doctors uh, are not going because the facilities are not given to them, but with the help of an IT, we can really do wonders in giving quality health care at the remotest of the area. Plus, uh, as I said, the things become easier with when you do IT. If you are able to see manually uh, without the help of an IT, 10 patients, you can see, uh, I think, uh, twice the number of patients with the use of technology. So, and second, and another important aspect is diagnostic, where IT has played a tremendous role in reducing the time taken for uh, generating uh, reports. So, it has a huge impact. In, uh, if I say in health, the most important thing is the delivery of services, the time you have taken in delivering the service. And I have, IT has played a major role in, in that and reducing the time in giving, uh, giving care to our patients. So, it will really help. What are your expansion plans? Uh, expansion plan is obviously the same to me that uh, to increase uh, the bed strength, to increase uh, the, uh, the diagnostic facilities and, uh, and in that keeping in mind that uh, keeping more, opening more centers so that uh, we are able to give more quality services to more number of people and uh, then the central point will always be that the cost remains at affordable for people. Thank you so much. Thank you.